Pirates. We're here at the Delta Center in Salt Lake City. Bob Fitzgerald here with Tom Tolbert. Tom, looking at these two starting lineups, I see a lot of playmakers out there. Who do you think are going to be the two key players? Well, Fitz, the first guy I want to single out is right here. Matt Hartwright has a stroke from the free throw line in the teaching clinic. I bring it up because if this game is close, that could be a deciding factor. On the other side, he's got a great dunker. Richard Jefferson isn't backing down from anybody. He can answer throwdown for throwdown and come out on top. Thanks, Tommy. Time to jump it up and let's get going. Take the tip off and we'll set up on offense. To Kirilenko. Couldn't drop in the open look by Kirilenko. That's a shot NBA players don't miss in practice. Once the game starts, it's a whole different story. To Martin. Jefferson launches from beyond the arc. Not there for him. To Jefferson. Martin wants the ball. Wants the ball. Arroyo swatted that one away. It's his first block of the game. The game's first basket is off the shot by Arroyo. He generally doesn't score in bunches, but he'll take his shots when he can. Can brings it up. To Martin. Grabbed by Kittles. Kittles fires. Watch how a real man does his thing here. One point separating the teams. Arroyo sails in. Swatted. The fast break. And the Jazz bring it up. Bring it up. Our friend flies in. Goes back to the lane. To morning. Out on the left wing. Grabbed by Jefferson. Here comes the double team. Martin, that loads from 10 feet out. Yeah, yeah. Good. Martin. He's not a great shooter by any stretch, Fitz, but he got that one to go in. To Kirilenko. Kirilenko releases, but no one there. No red, no red. 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 Jefferson, Jefferson, the narrow lead by Money on the jump shot. To Harpring. Outside. To Kirilenko. Kirilenko takes it in. That's a To Kid. He's double teamed. Stolen, and that's his first takeaway of the game. Stolen. Kidd sails in. We're at the end of one, and it's close. The score, nine to eight. Jefferson inbounds to start the second quarter. To Martin. Out on the left. To Jefferson. 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 To Harpring. Inside pass. Fades. Money on the top shot. We got the right there and got the job done. The Nets bring it up. They're shooting 71% from the floor. Dumps it off. To Martin. Kid, one on one. Kid, kid, one. One percent right. Not there for him. 
warning. Connects on the shot and he's fouled. He'll get a free throw. He can't get the free throw and play. Rebound is signed by Ostertown. Fakes the pass. Bob by Clark. Ostertown goes last. <laughs> The net have the ball in a one-point lead. To Kittles. Now left side. Now outside. Martin goes to the drop step. And that's his first takeaway of the game. Oh, he just took it right from him. Karolinko takes it in. It's the front of the end. That's what's so great about looking it inside. You come away with high percentage shots. Kid has the ball. The layup is dropped in by Kid. You've got to keep your eye on this guy. He's always looking for your weakness, and when he finds it, he will exploit it. The Jazz head into the front court. To Kirilenko. Clark has position down low. Outside pass. There's the steal. Here's the break. Kid sails in. Sails in. Oh. He took it all by himself on the break, and that was the right decision. To Kirilenko. Pass low post. From downtown. Gets back iron and out. He should stay away from those triples. No way that's a high percentage shot for him. They all the way up court with this by Kid. Good players like him don't dwell on misses. They're already thinking about how to score the next time they get up the court. Kid made the steal back there, and that was his third. Kid gets his sixth point of the period. He has a total of eight so far. This guy just has that extra gear. You think he got good position and stopped him, and maybe he blows right by it. And the Jazz take it up by shooting 63% from the floor. To Harper to end the drought. Great play. Let's see that one. Oh. Oh. Martin releases. Can't get the buzzer beater. We've reached halftime with the score, 19 to 16. Now that we've got a little break in the action, why don't we take a look at the game track? Tommy? Thanks, Chris. The Nets have played to a stalemate here in the first half. The stats are pretty even right across the board, and that should make for an exciting second half. That'll do it for game track for now. We'll check in to see how it all played out in the storyline at the end of the game. Martin throws it in to start the third. To Martin. Jefferson launches from beyond the arc. Ripped down by Ostertag. To Clark. Martin made the nab back there, records his first steal. Jefferson leaves the ground, dunks it on the reverse. He threw a nice looking reverse dunk down, and the D could do nothing but watch. And the Jazz had the ball that are trailing, 21 to 16. Arroyo flies in, knocked off course, and it's pulled in by Morning. They're running all the way, runs it through. When you're all by yourself like this in the break, the one thing you start thinking is, don't trip. Arroyo is at the controls. Arroyo goes glass. Knock off course. To Jefferson. Martin wants it in the post. The 16-footer was off the mark by Jefferson. A few more feet in, and he would have had a good chance to sink that one. To Ostertag, and that's takeaway number two for him. Arroyo takes it in. That's called working for the highlight reel. Here it comes. The Nets have the ball in the lead, 23-18. Kittles. Now by 
Kittles. Kittles puts it up from a step inside the line. Money. That was a long two there. One step back, and it would have been a three. But it wasn't. So it's a two. To Ostertag. Ostertag. Off the glass. Gets the lay This is one of those guys that are going to play for. But I'll tell you how he gets his points. By getting out there, constant movement, and always hustling. Kid, kid. And always hustling. Yeah, out there. To Martin. To Martin. Pass to the paint. Dumps it off. The shot clock shows five. To Martin. Martin, Martin, shows five. Yeah, but maybe next time. For three. Doesn't get the long one. Kid, kid, at the long one. Great shot by the 10 year man out of California. To Kirilenko. The tough shot is missed by Kirilenko. Oster Tag gets it right back after the block. Rebounded by Morgan. We're at the end of the third quarter with the score 27 to 20. Kirilenko throws it in to start the fourth quarter. from the floor to Arroyo. Arroyo shoots from the paint. This is the jumper. The general gets the basket and now trail by five. He generally doesn't score in bunches, but he'll take his shots when he can. Kid brings it up and he's got 12 points. To Martin. Now outside. To Jefferson. Jefferson puts it up, hits the front rim, and doesn't go. It's quite simple. If you don't have the range, don't take the shot. To Arroyo. Arroyo, Arroyo, shot. Nice rebound by the 12-year man out of Georgetown. Throws it down. Just under two minutes here in the fourth quarter. To Heartbreak. Caught by Ostertag. To Arroyo. Arroyo saves him. That was another finish. That was a nice finish there. The Nets work it up. They're shooting 20% from beyond the arc. To Jefferson. Received by Kills. Inside pass. Seven on the shot clock. With the denial. And it's right back to the shooter. Kid, kid, back of the shooter. Okay. Don't have the. That was an excellent play. Watch the job he does here. To Ostertag. Heartbreak, heartbreak. Nope. To Heartbreak. Ostertag off the glass. USC in basketball. <laughs> Morning. Grabbed by Martin. Kid, kid, kid. 17 points by the 10 year man out of California. It's going to be hard to catch up now. They're going to have to score quickly and then foul immediately. Carolinko sails in. He's a ready. Four seconds. Twenty-four yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Dunk down by Martin. Yeah, yeah. The Jazz take their last time out. Dunk on the Jazz. Skip to Heartbreak. Heartbreak launches from beyond the arc. Ripped down inside by Morning. Oh. 
That's the end of the game. Your final score, 38 to 30. That was a great matchup we just watched. Let's check the storyline with Tom Tolbert. Tommy, take it away. Thanks, Chris. The Nets just made a determined effort today to take better shots, and it paid off. When your shooting percentage is that much higher, you're going to have an easy day. Thanks for the storyline, Tom. We also don't want to forget the MVP. Kidd is our ESPN player of the game, and he finishes with a total of 17 points and three steals. Make sure you catch SportsCenter so you can stay on top of the latest news in the sports world. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.